welcome to another AQA GCSE revision video. In this video we're looking at the first paper in the higher tier of the 8300 series May June 2017 past papers. Uh, this is a non-calculator paper and we're picking up in question 17 which reads A is the point 2 comma negative 5, B is the point 4 comma negative 9. Show that the gradient of the straight line passing through A and B is negative 2. Okay, so we're actually told the answer, and we just need to show that that's the correct answer. Okay, so to get the gradient, we just do rise over run, which is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. It's the how far up the y-axis it goes for how far across the x-axis it goes. So that's the difference between the two y-coordinates. So I'm going to put y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which is equal to... Uh, I'm going to choose that um, y sub 2 is negative 9 minus and then negative 5. I could have done it the other way around and done negative 5 minus negative 9 in which case I would have had to have changed the x-axis around. Right so I picked the 9 so I picked the bottom one as my first one so I need to pick the bottom one for my first one again so this is 4 minus 2. If I'd have gone the other way around uh, I would have done 2 minus 4 instead of 4 minus 2. So that's equal to, well, negative 9 minus negative 5 is the same as negative 9 plus 5, which is negative 4. And that's divided by uh, 4 minus 2 is 2, which is equal to negative 2. Okay, so C is point negative 301, comma 601. Does C lie on the straight line passing through A and B? You must show your working. OK, well, there's several ways we could go about this. One way would be to work out the gradient of a line where C is another point on this line. And if the gradient is the same and this point this point and one of these two points is the same or is on the same line then C must be on the same line. So that's one way to do it. So if we did say um, 601 minus negative 9 over negative uh, 301 minus 4, that would come to uh, ooh, 601, so that's 610 over negative 305. And yes, that's equal to negative 2. So the gradient is the same and one of the points is on the same line, so it must be the same line. If we've got a straight line, let me just quickly draw the axis here. We've got a straight line, any any line. If if this point is on the line, and this point is on the line, and then this point has the same gradient, there, there's no other line that can pass through the same point that won't have the same gradient. In order to have the same gradient it must be on the same line. So that has been shown. So we can now click just simply say yes. The alternative method would be the slightly more traditional method of solving for y equals mx plus c. So what we could have said is y equals mx plus c And we know that m is negative 2, so y is equal to negative 2x 
plus C. We can now use the points on this line. We could use any one. We could use 2 comma minus 5 or 4 comma minus 9. It doesn't matter. Let's use 4 comma minus 9. So negative 9 is equal to negative 2 times 4 because x equals 4 plus c. So negative 9 is equal to negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 plus c. So what are we adding to negative 8 to get negative 9? Well, just negative 1. So c is equal to negative 1. So y is equal to negative 2x minus 1. And now, all we, now we have the equation of the straight line. All we need to do is check that point C is on this line. So substituting in y and x, we've got 601 is equal to negative 2 times negative 301 minus 1. So 601 is equal to, well, 2 times 301 is 602, but it's a negative times a negative is a positive. So this is positive 602 minus 1. And 601 really is 602 minus 1. So 601 is equal to 601. So the answer is again yes. Either way would have worked. Uh, okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another.